Welcome, this is Zon with Repo Products. Today's video is on Bluebeam Review 2016 and how to use the Forms tools to create an editable form. Here I have a blank RFI document created from a Word document and I want to input fields in order to make it easier for the end users to input their data. Over here under the Forms command I have different types of commands that are available. If I click editor it gives me my forms editor command here in the tools palette and the different types of commands that are available I can click text radio uh, radio button checkbox list box drop downs and OK button uh, digital signature and how this is to be displayed depending on what you're working with and the area that you're trying to input that form object will dictate what type it is. For example here under project it would be a simple text box. I'd start the command, give it a name over here in the properties, specify the tooltip, and then if you click required then that field will be highlighted in red forcing the end user to visually see it. Uh, and I'm going to leave it unchecked for now. You can specify any color or fill color that you need, the font that you want, the size of the font, and the text color as well. Let's do size 10 font. Also, different font styles like bold or italic, and the options here will be grayed out until you actually create that entity. So I will left click and drag, and if you notice, the underline these lines that were created in a Word document were used with the underline character and some of them stop short of the others so things to consider when you're making your form make sure all your lines are consistent um, one of the things that you can do when you're working in Bluebeam Review when you're making these forms as you're creating each of these entities um, you can input and you'll see how it kind of lines up so over here I can do this again and the location is going to be longer so perhaps it would be easier if I use a markup tool and I use a rectangle and then that rectangle color is going to be white and the fill color is going to be white and um, I'm going to use solid line color and I'm going to draw a box so that it hides the line work from the cat from the um, Word document file. And then I can go in here back to forms, click editor and add another text box. And now the location can be as big box like this. And once you've done this, you can adjust the shape of it. You may need to zoom in in order to select the entity. Now remember if you finish the command by clicking the select tool it'll get you out of editor mode and if you click the entity it'll assume you want to input data. Click editor first and then you can select the entity and then you can pull and adjust the shape of it. Again, this is a second one, so we're going to call this location. And this one is input the location. Or better yet, input the address. And again, same set of property values that you want. If you need to, you can also put in a default value, say 1, 2, 3, Main Street, something like that. You can also do multi-line text if you want to as well. And if you do it this way, you'll kind of get a good sense of the size right off the bat. And so I think I'm going to hold it at a 10-point font for now. And so we will take a look at the rest of the page. And so you'll have to go through this process for each one of the fields that you need um, to input the types of forms that you want to work with. Now, another type of uh, form that you can, object that you can use is the radio button. 
and that's if you have an area where you want to have them click a little dot. So let's say for example I click this and I put in the dot by drawing a rectangular region and it puts in the dot. Or I can use this check mark box and put in a check box like this. Um, and then perhaps you want to use a list box. A list box is a neat feature because instead of them typing in all the different possible, uh, say, inventory list, um, you can you can have them put in that list. So let's say I do create one of the list boxes over here. And in this list box, um, I can give it a name. You know, let's say attachment list, something like that. And we'll put in here input the names of the attachment files. And then once that's done, um, we can go in here, select it, and under here for options, we can input the data. So let's say we put in um, attachment A, add, attachment B, add, C, like so. Now that that's completed, you'll notice as you click inside, it's a list, and the end user can just click the one that they want for that list. Okay, That's what's known as a list box. A drop-down list is more in the sense of, um, let's say here where we have a signature that says it's by somebody, and it'll be like a whole bunch of different people in the office that might fill this out. So if I use this drop-down feature, and draw this cell, then I can actually input the information as a drop-down list. So again, finish the command, click editor, select that entity, and then in here start typing in, say, um, owner, president, uh, vice president, um, associate. And as you do this, you're inputting all of that, say director, project manager, and even input somebody's name, you know, for example, um, John Doe. And you can put all the people in here. Once you're finished, again, end the command. And you'll notice as I click the feature, I can pick any one of the drop downs and it will automatically show that data. Now, the only negative aspect about using a uh, drop-down or a list is that the data in here may change over time. Perhaps a coworker or associate is no longer working for the company, so you'll have to modify that list. And then obviously there are other types of buttons and features that you can use in, when you're working with creating the form. Once you're finished, you can save the file, and then if necessary, you can actually save it as a template. So if I click Save as Template, it's going to want to place it under the Templates subfolder, and we'll call it um, New RFI Form, and click Save. Now that that's finished, as I'm in Bluebeam Review, I can click this little white arrow and choose the one that I created earlier, and it should automatically create a new document with that form and the end users can start working like such. And that's how you create a form in Bluebeam Review. Thank you very much for watching.